So let's create that one right now. Create a new uh, target framework. I'm going to just call it as landing. So that's my landing page. Landing pretty much sounds like a web thing, but then I'm just going to make it call like landing itself. Not just, it's not a splash screen. It's more like where you land and then you see some information about the application. So I'm just going to call it landing and it's going to be added to the project. Landing is created similar thing. I need to go and move it to the modules. Maybe rearrange. Yeah. Okay. And then that's landing and then maybe go here and change that path info p list window landing that's it and then compile it it should be fine right now so for the landing let's create each and everything which we need i'm just gonna start with creating a storyboard where's my storyboard yeah storyboard or even xib you can create anything i'm just gonna create a storyboard because it gives more options than a normal XIB landing storyboard add it to the landing framework which we created so it should be it should not get added to your let's connect the main application target instead it should be in the framework which we are created so it's so that it's modular it, it remains in within this same otherwise it's anyway not going to work um, so this is my landing that's my landing storyboard I add it there created now I need to add a view controller to that added now let me create a view controller new file view controller I'm going to call it as landing view controller I'm not going to add an XIB if you want you can even create an XIB instead of that storyboard but I'm, I'll just go with the storyboard approach next add it again to the landing create that and then first go and refer that in your this place as well as the storyboard identifier i'm going to use this identifier to launch my uh view so that's done get rid of something it's not needed and every 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 module that you're going to create is going to have the same kind of structure maybe if you can automate it it's better just I'm going to create each and everything every time. So it's going to be presenter. Then you need to have uh, <clears throat> maybe for this case, because this is just a landing page, it does not need to do much right now. Uh, there is no validation required. I'm not going to go with the pure wiper here. It's too much of an overkill. So I'm just going to keep it as a regular module, which is just going to have a builder. Because there is no use case here where I need to do some transition, everything. It just loads the landing page. From there, I just navigate to the login page. So that's what the whole use case is here. Uh, feature is actually. So the builder I'm going to create. And um, create a class builder function same thing like function build it's going to accept maybe something and return a ui view controller which is the base controller work it and this is again going to be public because public final and public static more like uh, same structure more or more or less just that the par parameter which i'll be passing is going to differ so this is my builder for my landing view controller so now now i need to instantiate this view controller so for that uh, so that does not give me an error i'm just gonna say your view controller that's it and uh, let me go and I need to have a utility function right now which uh, can create my view controller from storyboard I'm just, just gonna 
create that using I already have a utility function called instantiate I'm just gonna use that it's it's more like uh, instantiate uh, with view controller and storyboard so a uh, normal approach if you are using then you need to you can directly say instance of the if your storyboard is available you can instantiate it using the identifier and then you will have to maybe refer to that specific view controller so for abstracting that I'm just going to use a little bit generics and then keep that as a separate module so I'm just going to create one more module here which is going to be a shared uh, utility module so I'm just going to call a target going to call it as utility so this is where all the utility related to the project are going to reside like if you want some extension specific to UI view controller UI view UI color and everything or even something else uh, which is not specific to UI it can reside here so I'm just going to, going to call this as utility created that as a again a framework so I'm just gonna call this I'm just gonna again create a folder a new group called shared location and then move that within the shared shared utility so uh so now it's going to give me an error so let's fix that same thing maybe i just need to also add a shared here for this utility shared should compile fine now so <clears throat> first whatever I was talking about having a function which can create a storyboard uh, which can create a UI view controller from a storyboard that's what I'm gonna do here uh, I'm gonna say UI view controller plus extensions this is what it is so it's going to be within this utility framework create that call it as I don't need to call it anything just that it needs to import UI kit and then you are going to have I'm going to directly grab that piece of code because it's just I can just maybe explain what's going on there but it's it's just an extension of UI view controller which is having an instance function which will accept a storyboard and maybe an identifier if needed if the identifier is the same as your storyboard name then you can directly use something like this where you're just passing a storyboard or if the na name of the storyboard itself is like your view controllers name then you don't need to do anything you just need to pass uh, just storyboard dot instantiate will also maybe work so for at least in our case I'm just going to use uh, maybe this one instantiate from storyboard and it returns you the uh, self reference of that storyboard so whatever it does is it tries to see describing itself means whatever i have kept the identifier is the same like like the name i have given for my storyboard if i go to the landing page that is my landing that's my view controller the class name as well as the storyboard identifier name both are the same so that's the reason this will work where I if I just pass the storyboard name it instantiates the view controller instance which you have passed using the storyboard and the identifier which is again the same name of the view controller so it it'll just pick that same name so if I have kept that same name as a view controller then this is going to give you an instance of your storyboard so that's the whole purpose I'm just gonna build this it's fine so right now let me go back to my builder and uh, get rid of this and let's say I need the storyboard which is landing which I have created the storyboard equals um, UI storyboard dot init name is landing Passnail. I guess Passnail will work. Let me just once verify. Ah, no. We need to have the because nil will maybe point to my base. Let's connect. Uh, um, let's connect uh, 
target i need the target of current landing so in that case i need to get the bundle current bundle bundle dot init uh, using the class uh, self so that creates my uh, storyboard now let me return the view controller let view equals so what is the view controller name landing view controller dot i have the same instance okay i need to import utility and utility might give me an error because it's built using I guess 13.1 let's keep it as 13 okay that's fine and that function is available there so instantiate from so if I had the same name as uh, the st storyboard had the same name like uh, landing view controller dot storyboard then I, I could have just used this instance instantiate and it would have created me that uh, View controller but then maybe in some cases you might not uh, you might your story byte might have more than one uh, view controller in that case it's not really good. so I'm just gonna use uh, this instantiate passing the storyboard so that can just return that so this is actually creating me that instant because it's using the self reference itself I go to the instantiate then identify pass the storyboard it's returning you the self reference so whatever you have passed for instantiation that same reference is returned so you get the view which is a landing view controller which is inheriting from ui view controller so that's what you are returning here so building the view is done here your uh, view controller is ready uh, so what all things we did we just need to show this view controller but then you need to have something right now so let's start by building this view controller okay so what do you need it's a plain view controller i think you have the landing view controller storyboard identifier everything ready let me reference the existing design okay so i need to include some assets here for this i'm gonna create its own asset uh, library asset catalog i'm gonna call it as landing keep it within uh, landing asset landing assets so whatever i'm gonna add is a couple of things i need a logo for my application so let me go to my documents folder where i have everything required for this project i'm gonna add this logo maybe logo i think i'm not gonna use it anywhere else i'm just gonna you keep it it looks more like uh, the instagram logo but then it's a little different from that most of it is i have captured or uh, whatever design i have made is from different inspirations from different places so this is one thing where it resembles uh, uh, the Instagram logo, but then it's not Instagram logo. It's a different, a little different. <clears throat> so that's my logo for this app, and I also need for the landing one more button called uh, Start button. Um, it's just it's a little, it's normal. It's not a normal flat button. It's like an oblique button. It looks neat, different. So that's what I have created and added. Um, so two assets I have added right now and just gonna include it within my design so first thing first image view let me just keep same dimensions like I have kept in my existing one so that is 120 by 120 keep it as 120 and 120 and then let it be horizontally aligned like this and then have a distance from the top maybe that's enough or maybe what's the distance i kept it's like 90 something keep it at 90 itself like that's it and uh, i'm not going to load those images from here i'm just going to keep it here then load it from the view controller itself 
because it's it's gonna ref it's gonna use the uh, the bundle asset so we need to have that reference proper and the next thing is the title of this label single line label keep it center aligned and I need a font which is like rounded I'm gonna use this rounded font with size of maybe 40 and I'm gonna call this as uh, let's connect gonna apply all the styles here I'm gonna use a theme file so again we are gonna create uh, another framework for themes which we will use to actually apply all the themes for this view controller so let it have a vertical distance and uh, have it center aligned again That's it. So that's my let's connect. Maybe a subtitle as well. Label. Okay, the same kind of font. is enough going to be two lines I'm gonna keep it as two lines did I embed it within a it's better that I have it in a okay not have a stack view there maybe this one was within a stack view subtitle and description were in a stack view so I'm gonna add two more labels maybe copy this one as well control T copy this have it within a start view and then alignment being center and vertical distance also center alignment if this does not uh, I'm sorry I'm gonna keep a real time messaging it easy just maybe, maybe something like this and the subtitles being socket io based community chat app so something funky we have a width for this i'm just gonna keep some width for this 200 it's less or is 220 center align it's 220 looks very less because mm -hmm. This one is going to be Arial Hebrew small font like 16 will do and the coloring and all we are not going to take care here again and like I said but I can always keep this thing okay real time made AC socket IO base chat app maybe let me get like a light font that's enough Real time made EC connect app. This font I guess can be a little bigger. 45 is what I have kept. Yeah. Let's connect real time made easy. 20 maybe. That's it, and then 
we'll add one more button at the bottom oh, horizontal have a distance bottom spacing from the bottom that's enough I guess and uh, I don't need any title keep it like that there is actually a button there and uh, let's start referring these things so it's gonna look totally different once you run the application so until, we, until then let's add these things to as a connect outlets image view which is more like the logo image view so you can add any kind of logo from your code then you have the title it's more like the application title itself subtitle maybe I can call it as subtitle then you have the description label so I'm adding these things because I'm gonna use this to start apply the style for my application and this is going to be um, start button so that's it so that's my uh, setup right now so let me add uh, the styles required not the styles first thing let me add the icons required so landing new controller let's keep it as a private extension so that I can add the private functions here set up UI and uh, I'm gonna refer the logo image here UI image named I'm just gonna use this bundle name is going to be what is the name of we give I see start and logo so logo is what we need logo bundle is going to be bundle identifier a class is going to be this view controller landing view controller dot self this is not needed so that is my image similarly I need the start buttons image as well set image UI image same thing and I just need to change this to IC start and for the normal case for normal case something's wrong set image expected the uh, should be fine something is messed up name bundle for image Let me do once more set image image it's going to be this this part okay I just maybe grab the other one as well. oh it's a whole thing I see the start and for dot normal. Yeah, this is all. Set up UI. We need to call that here. Set up UI. So that's done. So that is my view controller. It's going to have some applied styles applied here for these things. Right now, it's all black right now. But these are these two icons are gonna display properly so let's include that right now so this dependency is right now added we have this uh, landing view controller available through the builder so I can actually refer this as a dependency to this router which is the window router so let's create something called as a type alias sub modules for this so what are the sub modules right now I need is a landing module 
which is going to be of this specific type of UI view controller. I need to import UI kit UI view controller. So maybe it's a better way to do this is go to my router. Okay, let's try landing view controller it's a ui controller it needs to have one more item because tuple needs to have more than one item so landing module is ready so all that i need to now do is within this init okay maybe just move this here within init i need to pass the sub modules required because uh, okay that's enough Plus, I also need a reference of window so that I can set uh, the win uh, root view controller. So that's also needed. So I need to also pass reference of window, which is a UI window, and then have all these references within my view controller. Private let. Unknown let because window needs to be an un it's created somewhere this is actually consuming it if you don't keep it as an orphan then once the window is deallocated if this is going to hold your window and then memory leak can start happening so you need to either keep it as uh, unowned or uh, uh, weak and some modules these are the two things we need here self dot window window reference is accepted and self dot sub modules so it's going to give me an error because we are not past those here so this is going to ask me a windows reference which is this window which we created we passed that and now it's going to ask me for the sub modules so sub modules i know i can actually create it here itself import which right now whatever I created is landing so I can just say landing module equals landing dot builder dot build it's is 13 so I think something is it landing is created using 13.2 let's keep it to 13 landing is available you pass that some modules is actually going to be something like this go here landing and then an empty one so you need to pass it in the same structure landing module and an empty one so you know this landing module is it's asking for a closure so if if you want it as a closure you need to just call until here because once you call this it will start returning a view controller but instead whatever you want is this part so you're just passing it as the landing module so just use that here so that dependency is passed right now let's go back and see how this router is consuming the landing so it's not yet used it so what we know that uh, this router which is the window router this is the window router has a reference of window now it can actually load your landing uh, view so for that uh, let's do it I'm just gonna keep it as let uh, view let view landing view equals uh, self dot sub module start landing module it gives you a landing module so that's a view created now because you access that builder's closure path it gives you a landing view a UI view controller that's what you're gonna set as the uh, current root view controller 
root view controller is going to be this view controller which is landing view that's the first view we are going to use for this uh, because we just created the window we did not set anything as the uh, root view controller so when the app, app is launching the first time landing is what becomes the root view controller maybe the second third or time after you have seen the landing page and so once your set start after that maybe you can just show the uh, login as the root view controller so that's what so dot window dot make key and visible that's it so route to landing is ready we just need to call it somewhere that somewhere is some going to be in a function here extension present the make it private i'm just gonna create a function called process this is where all the processing is going to happen within this view controller and i'm just after init i'm just gonna say process so within this process is where i'm gonna refer the routers function first function to route to landing as soon as uh, uh, this is windows present so as soon as the window is launched it's going to access this router and through the presenter it's going to show this route to landing so this this is the flow window comes through the window instantiates the window and presenter instance is getting created in your builder so window is created landing module is passed to the router presenter is accessing the router in turn in the process you are setting that uh, route to landing function so windows presenter is here so all the dependencies are ready right now and even presenter is now making a call to the la land to routing so i guess if you run right now it should show me the landing page let's see. let's see that works but there is a little bit of problem here because it's showing that uh, image uh, wrongly because i think it's let's see but uh, this is what uh, it showed the landing page right now let me see what's wrong with that image image looks fine how did i add it it's a default rendering as default but is there i think that uh, button is custom button that's the reason so let's go back and see text color is this maybe it's having a tint if i remove that to clear color what happens let's see it's applying that tint for this button so that's the reason it's not working that's it so i made it custom instead of that system it's that's your landing page it does not have any feature right now so that's what we're gonna do there are things like uh, theming which is left you need to theme this like these are not the colors which i expect those themes are going to come from a theme file and these are anyway uh, going to be icons so on start it's going to go to the next screen which is the login screen so let's uh, build the login screen right now 